Hi, and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from Anthony Medina, Cedar Hill, Texas. Changes coming to the body. On May 4th of this year, I had an angelic encounter. It's not my first one I've had numerous, but this one was quite different. I had been sensing an angelic presence standing behind me a few weeks prior. It was unlike what I usually sense. I felt the angel lean up against the right side of my body as I was in a moment of worship. I heard these words. I am the one that carries change. I've been sent to assist you in the changes that are coming. This time is different because the changes to come are big. They require my assistance for a longer period of time. I've been the one to help you and your wife in every major change in your life, in your marriage. I've been allowed to speak to you this time so that you would know that this change isn't only happening to you, but to many. Major change is happening for many, and the Lord has sent assistance to them for the purpose of walking into change rightly. I got the sense that all of the major changes this angel was sent to assist in, they were for the purpose of bringing about the revealing of the true sons and daughters of God. Romans 8, 19. When I probed further, I heard the Lord say that this angel was sent to assist in these specific changes amongst the body, a change in strategy. Many are running with an old blueprint because their vantage point hasn't changed for their new day. The Lord is changing the strategy you will run with because he will elevate your perspective. As your perspective is brought higher, your thinking will become clearer. The blueprint you are to run with will make sense. There is a sons of Issachar from 2 Chronicles 12. It's this new type of grace being given to those who have been crying out for strategy for the revelation they've received. They will know their time and season and will know exactly how to execute the new blueprint they've been given. There's a change in influence. This has to do with the removal of familiarity being common amongst your community. It's the same that many have been plagued by. Many have not viewed have not been viewed as the Lord views them within their local expressions, which has led to dishonor and rejection. The veil is being removed from them. A change is coming to their level of influence within their local spheres. The jealousy, the misrepresentation that have kept them at bay through negative talk and word curses, it is being removed. They will be seen for who they really are, actually are, and the authority they carry. Changes of DNA. He's also changing our thinking, our reasoning, our thought process. The perception of self, with all of its self-imposed limitations, this change will be palpable by many because it will be accompanied by physical healing. There's a change of function. What many label as transition is being taken to another level. There won't be changes of jobs or family. This will be a change that involves national changes, changes in denominations. A big part of this change will be the Lord changing people from one career to another that they have zero experience in. There will be a change of family. The lonely are getting put into proper families. The ones that feel like loners, like nobody sees them, they're being seen and adopted. The spirit of adoption will grip mothers and fathers like never before. A mass movement of spiritual adoption will sweep many orphan sons and daughters into healthy spiritual communities. A shift in the alignment of nations is coming. We shall see over the next year surprise alignments. Nations that we thought would never be able to coexist will begin working together. There will also be a realigning of nations and the purposes of expanding the gospel. Churches and parachurch organizations will receive invitations to go into certain nations that they've tried to go into for years, which were once either hesitant to let them in or had extreme hostility toward the preaching of the gospel. The doors will open. They will be brought in with both protection and influence to bring about divine kingdom movement. Friend, let's pray into these changes that are coming to the body of Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord, we say, may it be unto us according to your word. Father, may you bring these changes. May you prepare our hearts to experience these changes. None of these changes feel new. These feel like confirmations of what we've already heard in our spirit from the word of God and from other trusted prophetic voices. We thank you, Father. Thank you for our brother Anthony for bringing this forward in such a clear, crisp, concise way that we can latch onto, we can lay hold of it, we can decree and declare. And Father, say, 
that these changes are coming to the body of Christ. Thank you, Father, that we get to co-labor with you. And Father, help help us to, to get there quicker so we can help bring others along. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.